Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. We're in the final stages of the case build already. That means we're close to integrating the electronics and that's where the real fun starts actually. In between videos, I built this box for the loudspeaker and we're going to glue that into place next. The loudspeaker box is in place, so let's cut out the remaining components of the original e-piano. We need the keyboard and we need the front to make the integration of the buttons easier for us. Alright, after some trouble in the beginning, I think it did turn out okay. Um, I'm also going to finish this part with the power tool and I saved myself some sewing. <laughs> Alright, awkward camera angle. Those are the two pieces that we just cut out for the front panel. I think they turned out quite good. I only messed up once right there, but I think that's going to be fine. The front panel is going to be right there. So just to give you an impression how it's going to look, the buttons are going to be behind this and the display is going to be right there. So yeah, everything's coming together. Before the final assembly and integration of the electronics, we need to sand all the surfaces and color the frame. In the meantime, we're going to add this LED strip on top of the keyboard. Okay, and with that, the keyboard is ready to be implemented into the new case. And with this piece that I painted beforehand, we're going to finish the keyboard section. We're also about to finish the front panel for that, we need to glue in those plastic pieces. I was just about to say that we are finally ready to implement the electronic components, but unfortunately I placed the buttons on the left side, but I should have placed them on the right side. That means um, the ribbon cable is not long enough and 
I don't have a ribbon cable, so I have to extend this ribbon cable with individual cables. That's kind of a bummer, but yeah, that's our next step. Okay, it's only eight cables. And that's the final result. I know it looks kind of wild, but had to be done. Good, let's do a quick test. Now we can finally put the electronics where they belong. For this I'm going to use the cutest screwdriver that I've ever seen. I've got this from some small LED lights, it came with them. And there's not much space here so it's actually perfect for what I need it to be. I'm going to mount the power board using small wooden blocks. Now this board just gets glued to the base plate. Now that all the electronics are in place, we can start to finish the top of the instrument and we're going to add this wooden piece here with hinges on its end, like that, because I want to open this up later and be able to still access the inside of the instrument. For this I need to drill small holes first because the wood is very thin and I don't want to I don't want it to split. So yeah, that's next up. Alright, that's another step done. 